Fletcher here and welcome to the Everything Guide to Learning to Play Guitar. Before we get started, can I ask you please to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube page, really help me grow my online business. And if you've got a moment, just check out all my social media, there's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, as well as my website. The links are all down there in the description. If you need a little friendly reminder of uh, everything that we've done so far in the Everything Guide to Learning to Play Guitar, then you can follow the link up there in the corner and it will take you to the playlist uh, for everything that we've been through. So we're starting a brand new section in this video. We're doing tabulature, combining the tabulature and the chords to get songs that sound that little bit more accurate to how they really, really are. All the sheets that accompany every one of these videos is available direct from me. If you head over to my website, the link is down there in the description. I think it's really important, the further down the road of the Everything Guide to Learning Guitar, the further down the road you go, the more important it is that you do get those sheets um, because you do need that visual accom accompaniment to go alongside what I'm saying. If you're a student of mine, either in school or uh, over Zoom, then you will get those sheets automatically. So if you're watching this video, then you should already have that sheet. If you're just watching me out there in internet land, then head over to my website where you can download those sheets. If you are still unfamiliar with what tabulature is, then you can find the dedicated learning how to read tabulature video right there in the corner. I definitely advise you to have a look at that one. So let's get to it. All right, so we're doing The Rumble today by Link Ray. I absolutely love this, love this song. I'm actually doing it. It's it's not a hugely difficult song to do. Now, sometimes you hear of a song uh, you know, with very explicit or violent lyrics and, and, and it's banned from the airways. And you think, yeah, fair enough. You know, you can't have songs like that on the radio. But can you imagine an instrumental being banned? You know, what on earth is offensive about an instrumental? Well, The Rumble by Link Ray was, in fact, banned, um, which is just it, the idea of this song called The Rumble, which is obviously slang for having a fight, um, and this very aggressive sounding guitar. It's just too much for the youth of 50s America. So, yeah, it was banned. But of course, like most songs that are banned from the airways, um, it just makes it more and more popular. Now, we're bringing in a little bit of extra music theory. We've got these things called triplets, all right? Now we looked before, when we did your musical notation, we looked at notes that last for one beat, two beats, and four beats, half a beat. A triplet is identified, here is a picture, um, by this little sort of brackety, this sort of horizontal bracket with a three in it. And that is where you play three notes, usually in the space of one beat. Sometimes you get those triplets lasting for longer. Sometimes you get them lasting for shorter amounts of time. Um, but, you know, that, that, that's what they do. So if you had a bar that goes one, two, three, four, what a triplet would do to it is make you play da 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 You can hear those three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. So that would be where your triplet comes in. And in this song, in the rumble, this great rundown of the scale, more on scales later, where it does that, it goes da 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 like so. So it does take a little bit, I mean, it's it's a tricky little fiddly thing to go all the way down those strings anyway. So you might just want to just spend a little bit of time getting that muscle memory of those notes and where they go. Before you attempt to put that triplet thing in there. But it is just an extra thing that you need to think about, okay? Now, the other thing that we're going to bring in as a first is the 16th note. Now, when we did, again, when we did your music notation, we went up to the 8th note, the uh, the quaver, all right, which is lasts for half a beat. But we've also, when we did Seven Nation Army, there it is, we talked about fitting notes in between the beat and the and. Well, how do we do that? Obviously that note still exists, but we haven't shown you a musical symbol for it. So that's what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna bring in these, 
These are the 16th notes. They last for a quarter of a beat. So you could have up to 16 of those in a bar. All right, and you do have those in the solo, particularly um, of the rumble. Now, speaking of the solo, I have included it on the sheet. I have included it on the lesson. Um, but again, for you learners, it might be something that is a little bit beyond you at first. But for you more advanced guitar players, it's there for you to have a crack at. Um, and of course, for you learners, it's there. Just put a little mental flag in your brain that it's there and you might want to come back to it. OK, so basically, in a nutshell, we have done the whole song. In um, the rumble, we have this effect called the tremolo. And that is this idea of where you hear the guitar chord and it kind of goes like that. <laughs> There's no way to do that and, and look cool. Um, it's what we call a tremolo effect. All right. And again, you know, for you beginners, you don't have to put it in there. Um, but again, it's a floorboard pedal situation. If you can, I'm going to put it in there because it's great fun. So it's sort of the difference between it would be, you know, if I play an E chord, doesn't it ring nicely? Now, if I engage my tremolo effect, it would sound like this. I'm not doing anything different. It's all about the pedal. And that's a great little effect to use sometimes. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun.
get to it. So thanks for watching. Please, please leave me some nice comments. Please check out all my social media, my uh, website down there in the description. Um, and we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.